Oh, no wonder I'm struggling so much, guys. I actually fell into a hole here. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. We gotta fix this. How's it going, everyone? OB here, and welcome back to Astro Near. Guys, today what we're gonna work on is actually building a Land Rover. And the importance of the Land Rover is, is that you can actually make some kind of like train. Wait, hold on. What is, what's going on with my inventory here? Um, I, I believe I am a little glitched out here, guys. Everything is kind of floating behind me. Okay, guys, I am placing my materials back into my backpack. Uh, okay, guys, it is in pre-alpha still, so keep that in mind. The game is bound to be a little bit buggy here and there. It's no big deal. Boop, put that there. Perfect. But yeah, guys, with the Land Rover, you can actually build some kind of, like, caboose, like, some train system, and transport large amounts of goods back to our current base. And that's exactly what we need to do, because we need more materials, okay? And we need to more research things as well. So that's very important, so we're going to try to do that today. It shouldn't be too complicated. I'm feeling pretty confident. That we can do something like that. So one thing I'm noticing, guys, is I actually can't click over and change this into a rover. So I'm wondering, do I need to make a whole nother vehicle bay? It, it, that might be a possibility. I'm not entirely too sure, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue, guys. Um, honestly, man, I can just make one right here. Oh, I need some resin. But that might be a good spot for it anyways, and then we'll have two vehicle bays. It's not like this stuff's hard to craft, okay? It'll take me like a minute. Ooh. It's so beautiful. I keep seeing shadows, guys. It's just so gorgeous, okay? Let's go ahead and collect some resin. And, uh, we'll start on our second vehicle base. Okay, so I made a pretty dire mistake here. You're probably noticing that clicking, crunching sound. Okay, so what happened was I dropped all my materials, and then I built the freaking thing <laughs> on top of my materials, and now it's clipped inside, and it wants to break free, but it won't, and I, I can't get them out, because I tried digging underneath here to maybe, like, go underneath and try to dig out my materials, like, that way, and I can't. So, do I have to sit here and listen to this clicking sound the whole time? No. Okay, so what we're gonna do, okay. This is gonna get kind of weird, guys. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to bury this, okay? I think if we bury it, maybe the clicking sound will stop. Oh, God. But what have we done? Guys, I fixed it by restarting the game. Okay? <laughs> Woo! That was a close call. I was having a little mini panic attack, but I do have to fill all this back in now, unfortunately. So that's gonna take a minute. It's gonna fix this. Whoa, whoa. Fix it, Obi. Fix it. Fix it right! No, no, that's wrong. Okay, so that's kind of fixed now, but as good as I'm probably gonna get it. Uh, so now we need to farm some aluminum. Now, something gave us aluminum when I smelted it. Was it the, I think it was the the one that started with an L. I think, ooh, guys, actually, hold on. Can we research this? Is this, this is available for research? Let me research this place. Okay, what are we gonna get today? What is it? Come on, give me something juicy. Give me something, storage. Oh, oh, that is good. That is juicy. That's the juiciest of the juicies. Okay, we need to add a storage, guys, because uh, I got a lot of junk just laying on the ground. It looks kind of ugly out here. Now, okay, give me give me an add-on. Can I add something on here? How do I add something on here? What is this? Here? Yes. I don't care. Just put it here. Wow, we got junk everywhere. No, don't build anything on top of the materials. Right? I've learned my lessons. Move, move everything out of the way first. So you're probably noticing, guys, the base doesn't look that good. Um, it's kind of all over the place. I'm uh, not really too happy with the layout that I've chosen here. It's it's not my fault, guys, okay? I, I was just a noob back then. Oh, aluminum! Put the aluminum over here. That's for... That's for later. You know, guys, the planets are a lot more empty than No Man's Sky. For some reason, there's such a pleasure to walk around. Maybe it's just the way it looks and the soothing, like, Minecraft-esque music going on in the background, but... There's something about it that's just really enjoyable. I can't really explain it. Okay, so we learned how to do the storage. But it's not available to me. I got research, fuel condenser, printer, trade platform. I don't, I don't see storage here, guys. Am I crazy? I know. I know I'm not crazy. I know I learned it. Why can't I do it? Well, guys, I'm not entirely too sure why I can't build the storage, which is kind of lame because that's something I really, really needed. But like I said earlier, it isn't pre-alpha, so I can't be too mad. That's okay. You know, I, I just, I'll get over it. Okay, guys, I went ahead and smelted two copper ores here. What we're going to craft right here is a printer. Because I just realized I have no idea what a printer is. Or what it does, rather. So it might be something really, really important. Okay, now it needs power. Gosh darn it, I always forget about the power part. I get so excited to see the reveal, and then I forget. It needs power. Definitely the ugliest looking base I've ever built. I wish there was a way that you can move things once you place them down, but unfortunately you can't. Maybe something in a future patch, though. Maybe that's something that could be a possibility later on, because that, that'd be pretty cool. 
you know, you place something wrong down on accident and then you can just fix it later on. No big deal. Okay, so the printer's gonna let us do a solar panel. Store, oh, this is how you get the storage, guys. We've learned. We have learned today. Wind turbines, uh, that might be really cool to have. A bigger battery, an actual generator, the one seat, the one seat. Let's go ahead and do a solar panel. That's all I need is two compounds, which I believe I should have. Compound? Where are you? Okay, guys, I'm putting the second compound in there. I'm gonna craft the solar panel here. I'm assuming this is a much bigger one that can charge a lot more efficiently than my little tiny baby ones. I'm hoping anyways. Ooh, that's cool. It's actually charging this one while it's on it right now. Take, take off my battery on that. Okay, okay, okay. I like this. Now, can I put this somewhere important? Okay, so I wanna put this on something. <sighs> hmm, so how should I do this, guys? Right now I have two baby solar panels on here. If I could hook this one on there as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So theoretically I'd want like 50 of these, one for every building. That seems kind of like a lot of work, but it's not impossible. Now I was also told guys that if you put the solar power panels on the middle hub here, it should power everything. So let's see, is everything getting power? How's, how's, how's over here looking? That's fully powered. Yeah, so I think that was right guys. So we'll leave the two baby solar panels right here and we'll connect the bigger ones to each other platform. That's a good idea. Good job, Obi. You're making magic happen, buddy. Now, if we come over here, guys, we can make our second vehicle bay, which is very important because now we can make a Land Rover. Now, I don't know if the other one could have done it too, but it just, it wasn't working out for me before. So let's grab this solar panel here, charge that bad boy up. Look how fast it's charging, guys. That's astounding. That's amazing. Okay, guys, we're making our very first Land Rover. Yes, this is gonna help us so much. This tether is actually not connected to anything and I'm realizing I'm suffocating right now. Uh oh, hold on, oxygen. Ah, oh, crazy. Okay, guys, so I built my little seat here. Whoa, well, tap for the hole will be, wow. This thing kind of controls pretty nicely. Ooh, battery does drain pretty quickly, guys. We're gonna need a lot of solar generators for this one. Whoa, okay, okay, bring it back, bring it back. I wanna make like little cabooses, guys, okay? This thing has to expand a lot. Oh no, guys, I'm pretty far from my base and we have, oh, I gotta get the compound. I gotta get the compound. We have a storm coming, guys. Get the compound, get the compound, grab it all. Oh, we're running out of oxygen too. Oh, where's the storm? I just heard it. Yeah, I swear I heard, there it is. Oh, we gotta get back to the base. Where The base is this way. Right, it'll be right. Look at it in the background, guys. It's way back there. I don't know if it's gonna make it to us. I'm gonna have to assume that eventually it will get here, but luckily we did make it back to the base pretty convincingly. Let's go ahead and put in our compounds here. Okay, how much more do I need? Uh, is that it? What, do, what do, okay, I can make a one-seater. Oh, oh, okay, okay, so you can make more seats like that. That's really cool. Whoa, hold on, let's let's get it closer here. Let's, let's back it up. Okay, I think I'm creating a storage now. I'm not exactly too sure what I'm doing here. I'm keeping my eyes close out for that storm though. Really don't wanna get hit by that bad boy. Whoa, okay, so we, <laughs> not exactly what I thought was gonna happen here. Let's go ahead and pull this forward game is saving that's good okay now how do i can whoa 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 what are you dude calm down what are you doing i for the life of me have no idea how to connect this onto my vehicle but i know it is a possibility i've seen other youtubers do it shuttle no what oh now i can what is going on with this game okay well now the problem is guys is i actually can't click this and move it anywhere so i got <laughs> it's just stuck there but i've seen other youtubers make trains I've seen him do it. Maybe I gotta be doing something wrong. That's all it is, guys. I'm just doing something wrong. Okay, you know what? He keeps wanting to make an extra seat. Might as well go do that. And then maybe, maybe I can put storage on after that. Uh, I don't know. So the problem with the extra seat is that's where my satellite was going. Wait, where did my, where did my solar power go? My solar panel disappeared. Oh, there it is. I'm dumb. Guys, I'm freaking out, okay? Just ignore me for a little bit. Uh, I promise I'll calm down eventually. I won't. There we go, guys. I figured it out. So basically, this in the back that I'm pulling is actually a second rover. So you have to make a second one. You just don't add the seats on it. So this second seat right here is actually pretty bad because I, now I can't put my satellite on there, my solar powered satellite. But I'm wondering if I put it on a second one, will it still charge my first one? Possibly. I really don't know. It's not daylight, so I can't test that theory out right now. But boom, we got storage mobility. So this is freaking sweet, guys. So we're gonna need like 30 more of these, I think. <laughs> Oh goodness, I wonder how big we can actually make it go. Be kind of funny to see. 
Okay, so over here I'm crafting another storage little thing, and I think I can actually attach this one onto the back of the car. That other storage that he built over there is way too massive, but this one we can actually pick up. So I'm gonna have to assume that this could connect to this rover over here. Oh, it does. So I guess theoretically, guys, we could make like, I don't know, six rovers and just carry a lot of things back all at once. That's really, really cool. And if I have to rebuild this first one, I could just scrap the first one, put one seat, and then leave the second spot. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm just rambling now, okay? I'm just filling in the dead space. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we gotta build something else. Okay, great news, guys. Having the solar panel on the second one actually charges all of them. So this is absolutely fantastic, guys. We're gonna go out right now. We're gonna get a ton of compound, and then I think I might try to craft some sort of generator just to kind of see how those things work. Guys, check it out, man. I'm using this to like the full maximum capacity. This this is amazing. This this changes the whole game. This changes everything. I don't have to worry about a uh, power. Look, cause it, my backpack stays fully charged with the, the solar solar power back here, and I don't have to worry about oxygen either, cause this thing has an infinite supply of it. Oh, this is amazing. This is so awesome. Oh, guys, I think we have a storm coming. We absolutely do. I don't know if we're safe in this thing, but we have to get back because I have a lot of materials. Oh, what up? Go, go, get back to the base. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, go drive, dude. What are you? Wow, it's coming right over the mountain, guys. That's so creepy looking. Look at that. That is fantastic. Oh, we got to get out of here, though. Oh, it's coming right for us. Oh, oh, dodge the holes. Dodge the potholes. We got to get home. We gotta get home! Okay, guys, okay, guys, we just got home. We gotta get, we gotta get inside. We gotta get inside. Eh, I did it. Wow, that came on pretty quick. I'm gonna have to assume that you're probably safe inside the truck, but uh, I didn't wanna find out. Wow, this one's way thicker than the last one. I can't see anything. Holy moly. Here comes the flying rock says, whoa, my, my truck in the back is, is taking a beating. It better not explode. I would be mad. Guys, my materials are getting hit and floating away. Get back here. Put it back down. <laughs> At least you can grab it out of midair where you're a uh, dude. Stop flying away. Okay, guys, check out what I got here. I got three rovers. This one has two storage panels on it. This one has one and the satellite on it. Now the only problem is, guys, I'm I'm experiencing a ton of FPS drops, and I'm not entirely too sure why, guys. It has something to do with the tethers. Uh, they actually just released a patch for it. You can see as they're actually. Combining and recombining that is causing a massive drop in FPS to my computer here, which is not too good. They have been patching it, guys, but apparently it's not going too well. Maybe if I drive the rover away from them, it'll stop a little bit. Let's see if I can get this to work here. Yeah, as I leave the tethers, the, the frame issues do seem to stop. So my plan was to go down this thing with the, uh, the rover here, but because there's tethers all down here, it might actually be very laggy. You can actually see some of them are actually floating right now, which is kind of weird. So I don't want to do that. I'll have to dig a different hole to get the rover down into that cave system. Something that's not by the tethers. But let's go ahead and grab these. I'm, gonna ha I'm hoping these guys can actually connect on here. Oh, they can't. Oh, that's not good, guys. I was hoping I could, like, connect these and just drive them all back together. So this is something that we can't really use to bring back these big compounds, I'm guessing. Unless, let's pull this off real quick. Let's see if this will connect to that. Oh, it does. Okay. So that's interesting. That's that's good to notate, I guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave two storage panels right here. I'm gonna grab this red hairy tomato and put that on there as well. We're gonna drive that back, and we're gonna research these bad boys, and then we're probably gonna call the video there. Oh, guys, this thing's pretty heavy, okay? Oh, it's fighting me. It's fighting me. Let me see. I mean, it is moving. It is moving. It's not, it's not the best uh, transfer or storage vehicle here I've ever built, but uh, it'll get the job done, that's for sure. Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck, guys. Uh, I can't. Eh. Come on. I can't get over this little hill here, man. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go the long way, I guess. You know what? No. Leave it here. Just carry him. It's like two feet. Come on, man. Don't be so lazy, OB. Okay, guys. Let's research this unknown hairy tomato here. Hopefully, we get something pretty decent out of it. What is that? Titanium. The, the titanium. Put the titanium. Okay. Put it there. I know that's pretty good, guys, because I've been. I think something actually requires that. Let me see here. Titanium is needed for a tank. So I'm gonna have to assume that's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no wonder I'm struggling so much, guys. I actually fell into a hole here. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good at all. We gotta fix this. Okay, let's, oh no, guys. This, some wonky physics are at play here, guys. I'm hoping, 
Whoa, let's, can I can I pull it out with this? Please tell me I can pull this out. I'm so close, guys. I am so close to getting this out. Come on. I'm so, I'm moving forward. I am moving forward. I think I got it, guys. Okay. <laughs> well, the, it's upside down a little bit, but I, I moved it, guys. That's that's all that matters. I did get it back to the base. We'll fix this one in a later episode, guys. Let's go ahead and, uh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Let's go ahead and identify this one. What's gonna be inside the green rock thing? What is that? Wait, this looks like lithium? Do I need that? Is, wait, lithium's rare? I got lithium, guys. I'm gonna have to assume that's pretty good. I don't know. Oh, ignore this, by the way. Um, I had a theory that since the game is kind of like realistic in a way, maybe I could like build some kind of rock thing going straight to another planet. I don't know. Okay, I didn't get very far until I realized this is gonna take a lot of work. So we'll see. Maybe this is something I'll try in a later episode. But guys, I am gonna call the gameplay here. I hope you all are still enjoying Astroneer as much as I am. I'm in love with this game, guys, and I cannot wait for some fu future patches. And I cannot wait for it to uh, leave the, the alpha and actually become like released. Cause I, I know this game's gonna have so much to it, guys. It's gonna be so fantastic. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Definitely give me a thumbs up to show some support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.